YouTube. Today I'm back with another tutorial on this mini beanie and um, these would make great wine bottle toppers if you're gifting them or Christmas tree decorations if you hang a little string around it and for this tutorial I'm using this pink for the hat itself and this white for the pom-pom so I'll show you how to make the pom-pom and attach it as well and I'm just using a three millimeter hook. You'll need some scissors and a darning needle possibly. So let's just keep that to the side. Right, this is a very quick project to do and we're gonna start with a magic loop. So for your magic loop, get your yarn, put it in a cross shape, get your hook, pull it through and get your spare yarn and pull it through. <clears throat> I've done this magic loop tutorial already, so I'm gonna link it in the description box below. This is, by the way, a scrap yarn project as well. So if you've got any scrap yarn lying around, you could just use that. Okay, so after you've done your magic loop and chain one, chain two more. So it counts as three chains and we'll count this as a double crochet. So for our project, we are gonna work in total 12 so we'll do 11 more and this one will count as one so this is our second one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, Uh, by the way, you can slow the video down if you go to the playback speed by clicking on the little cog. So, let's do our last two. We'll have 12 in total. So after you have your 12, what you're going to do is just pull this to make the center of the circle nice and tight. And then you'll slip stitch and join on top of the first chain here. And then what you'll do is chain three and work one double crochet into that same space. So into there. And what you're basically going to do is just work two double crochets in each chain space. So one, two, one, and two. And just keep going until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you should have 24. So I'm going to pause the video and meet you when I have done my 24. Right, I just need to do my last two because I've done 24 so far. So I'm just going to And that makes 24 in total. Right, so once you have your 24, you're just gonna slip stitch into the top of this chain here. Like so. And then chain one. Now what you're going to do is go around and do a single crochet in each of the 24 that we did. So one, two, 
three and you should end up with 24 single crochets four five six seven Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So what we're now going to do is slip stitch into the first chain here, the first single crochet we did even, and then chain one. We're going to repeat this step four more times. So we should have five rows of single 24 single crochets so i've done my fifth round of single crochets and i've just done my last stitch 24th one so i'm just going to go into the first single crochet i did slip stitch into there and just chain one now i'm going to cut this off leave a long end so you can weave it in and pull this out and what you're going to do is get a needle Put your yarn through the needle like so and we're just going to weave it, weave that end in and what I'm going to do is just weave in and out till I reach the top. So put my needle through there, there. And however you prefer to weave your ends in really, you don't have to do it the same way I am. I'm just going to try and get to the top. Like so. And when I've reached there, what I'm going to do is get these two ends and then tie them together. And that's the end of that, so I'll snip those two ends off like so. So I'm going to turn this round because this is our actual hat, beanie. And we're now ready to make a pom-pom to put through here. So to make your pom-pom, we'll just put this to one side. A pom-pom that's small enough for your beanie is get a fork. I'm just going to get this and cut a long piece of end. And put it to one side because I'll need that later. And with your yarn, what you're going to do is... Put it around your fork and tie it on so it doesn't budge and then just wrap it around your fork like this and just keep going to however big you want your pom-pom just keep going like so and then i do one more And then just tie a knot to stop it from moving. Like so. Right. So now what we're going to do is get this yarn that I um, cut off from before. And what I'm going to do is just get my needle put my yarn through it just enough and what I'm going to do is go through here and get it to the other side. Now what you're going to do is tie a knot but a really tight knot. Oops. And 
make this nice and tight. Now we're going to take it off our fork. I'm just going to do one more knot around here to really make sure my pom-pom is nice and tight. Like so. Can be very fiddly making a tiny pom-pom. Like so. I'm just going to cut this bit of yarn off because I don't need it anymore. And then what you're going to do is, with smaller scissors this would be better, but just, you have to be very patient with me and my scissors. Let's just cut along here and make sure you've got all of them. And then to the other side, we need two long ends to tie onto our hat. So I'm gonna grab these two long ends and make sure I do not cut them off because I need them. And then what you're gonna do is just get your pom-pom however you want it. And then I'm just gonna cut around it till I'm happy with the shape of my pom-pom. like so and when you're happy with your pom-pom we'll move on to the next step so get your hat and fold it over so it's the wrong way and what you're going to do is put these two things through that middle hole so these two ends through that middle hole so i'm going to grab myself the biggest darning needle i have and put both ends through like so. And then I'm going to go into that middle space and just push it through. And when you get to this side, whoops, I didn't quite put it through the middle. Let me try that again. Put it through the middle. Like so. And when you get to the middle, before you tie it on, what you'll do is just get one of the strands, put it through a darning needle. I'll just put it through this one. And what you'll do is just move it, just weave it through a couple of ends, like so. And then you'll tie it on. So tie a few knots and this will just make sure that pom-pom really does not come off at any point. So tie it on very tightly. And snip those off. So there you have your little pom-pom beanie. And how cute are they? Honestly, I love making them. They're so adorable to make. And if you put a little thread through one of the holes here, you can even hang it on your Christmas tree as Christmas tree ornaments. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Click subscribe if you have, and I'll be back with more crochet tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching.